Hi, welcome to this tutorial on using OpenEO wizard available in the OpenEO web editor. In this video, we will explore step-by-step -step process of utilizing wizard feature to create an OpenEO process for one of the common use case that is calculating NDVI using wizard functionality. So let's get started. The wizard feature can be found in the top navigation bar of the OpenEO web editor interface. The main idea behind this feature is to make it easier to create process for common use case without having to drag and drop collections or processes as done generally when creating a process in OpenEO web editor. Before using this feature, please note that the wizard functional is experimental and hence there is slight possibility that the generated models may not perform as intended. Nevertheless, let's try out by computing NDVI. Click on Compute Spectral Indices. This will lead you to a window where you can select from the data collection. In our case, it will be Sentinel-2 Label 2A. Then, a list of possible spectral indices that can be computed by simple band math on different spectral bands will be displayed. For your information, these are provided by the awesome Spectral Indices Library. We will go forward and search for NDVI. The next, select your spatial and temporal extent. This will be our spatial extent and this will be the temporal extent. Then there is also an option to select temporal aggregator if you want to. For me, I would be interested in the maximum value. Then you can select the file format in which you want to download the data. There's also a checkbox available where you can select if you want to scale the value from minus 1 to 1 to 0 to 255. I will leave it as it is. For the final step to choose among the execution method, I will go forward with the synchronous data processing method as I want fast processing mode and also my selection area is very small. Finally, you can create your process. While the process is being executed, you can see the entire model that was built with a very minimal effort and avoiding the dragging and dropping of collections and processes. Once the process is completed, the data will automatically be downloaded to your local machine. Also, a sample will be displayed in the right side of the interface. If I look up to the result in a QGIS interface, this is how my NDVI looked like. This was all about how you can use wizard features of Open Your Web Editor. If you have any queries or questions along the way, we kindly request you to submit them as a ticket in the Copernicus Data Space Ecosystem Help Center. Our dedicated support team will be happy to help you. Thank you for listening.